Today I'm making a mini nuke from Fallout, or just whatever. For this build, you'll need thin EVA foam, hot glue, white glue, sponge brushes, scissors, razor pens, a large novelty Easter egg, I found these at Michael's, they were nested inside each other like those Russian dolls, and a rotary tool. Cut a strip from the thin EVA foam. This one's four inches wide. Make it 20 and a quarter inches long. Actually, no, make it an even 20. Draw lines at two and a half inch intervals. Then draw lines two and a half inches in. Cut out the squares with scissors or razor pens. Hot glue the ends together to make a ring. Be sure the glue has set before you let go because it's gonna want to pull apart. Oh, hey, I should probably say something about this or my family's gonna get annoyed. My sister designed the logo on that coffee mug. She's a graphic designer. She does animal and pun themed mugs and magnets on Etsy. If you wanna take a look at those, there's a link in the description. Okay, back to the build. Now you should have this crown looking thing. Cut pieces to attach the fins to the bomb. I press my rotary tool into the foam in order to make bolts. Now you can glue the fins to the bomb. After that I used the heat gun to make the fins retain a curved shape like the rest of the ring. I used a piece of PVC to make circular foam pieces. I used scissors to trim the excess. I used my rotary tool with a thin attachment to cut a slit in the foam which made them look like flathead machine screws. Oops, <laughs> that one... That one got away from me there. Once you're done with that, hot glue the screw heads to the sides of the bomb casing. Coat all the foam parts in at least five layers of a solution that's 50% white glue and 50% water. You need to do this and wait for each layer to dry, otherwise the foam won't paint properly. Make sure you scrape all of the dried glue off of the casing before you paint. Paint the whole thing olive green. Now spray silver paint into a plastic cup, dab it with a paper towel, and blot that on all the edges and parts you want to be silver. This will make it look like the green paint has worn away in places to reveal a metal casing underneath, when really the reverse is true. Use yellow and or red paint for detailing. I didn't follow the Fallout paint scheme exactly because I want to be able to use this prop in non-Fallout related films. Also, I left like all of my Fallout props back in New York. Add a stencil. I'm making the label read out four kilotons because this bomb design loosely resembles the Fat Man bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki, which is about five Five feet wide and had a yield of 21 kilotons. Actually, it even more closely resembles the Mark IV atomic bomb, which had a variable yield of 1 to 31 kilotons. So I also could have gone by that range of devastation. Man, this video took a dark turn. Well, that's it. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see more tutorials, you can click on these links or subscribe. I try to do a new prop each week and then make a short sketch that features the prop. So stay tuned if you want to see what I can come up with for this one. Jake out.